Hi, I'm Jago Shkidana. I'm a teacher trainer from Oxford University Press. In this video, we will look at how to get started with extensive reading online. First, let's answer the question, what is extensive reading online? Very simply, it's reading a lot of books for pleasure. The benefit of eBooks is that some learners might find it uh, more motivating to read online. Sometimes it's just easier to encourage learners to read online as they have their phones with them most of the time, especially right now at the times of lockdown. To encourage extensive reading online, you need to keep in mind those three principles. First of all, choice. Learners must be able to choose what they are going to read. With ebooks, learners can have a large and varied selection of um, books to read at their fingertips. The second thing is interest. Learners must be interested in what they are reading. They should enjoy an English language ebook as if they were reading in their own language. And finally, level. Learners must read at a level that they can easily understand. That means only two or three unknown words per page. Ideally, uh, the right level is that um, it's one level below the learners are studying with their standard course books. Now, to help learners get started with extensive reading online, you need to engage them from the very beginning. First of all, find out what are their reading habits right now. Sometimes learners think that think and say they are not reading that much. But if you show them, for example, social media messages, subtitles on TV, online searches, they will be able to see that they actually read a lot. Then try to generate interest in the ebooks. If learners are interested in the topic of an ebook, before they actually start reading, they will understand better why they read. And finally, involve learners in choosing the ebooks. This gives them more control over their reading experience. If you want to find out uh, about learners' reading habits, you may ask them four simple questions. First of all, what do you read? So get them to consider what they already read in the first language. Next, when do you read? Get learners to think about the time of the day, the day of the week, that they can actually concentrate on reading much more than at other moments. Now, think about the place. So ask them, where do you read? For example, it might be on public transport, in the bedroom, maybe even in the bathroom. But this helps your students notice current reading habits, so then they can extend them to reading in English. And finally, ask your learners um, a question, how important is reading to you? Trying to use a scale from one to five, where well, five is very important. But remember, they are answering for themselves, not how important reading is in general to pass exams or uh, to do well schools. Now, to generate interest in ebooks, you may use a couple of things. In the first place, you can use um, book covers. And how to do it with ebooks? First, you can line up a varied selection of ebooks, uh, ebook covers that you want to show. Then, share your screen with your learners. Ask them to look at the images, elicit any words they associate with them. You can either unmute their microphones or ask them to write in the chat window or comment stream. For example, showing them a cover referring to some sporting event, they might say things like player, stadium, football match, about a specific cover. Then, based on the words, uh, discuss with learners what they think each ebook is all about. For example, a star player in an important football match in a big stadium. Now, very often when we choose a book to read for ourselves, we use also, um, apart from a cover image, we use also the back cover text, which we call a blurb. So to see the back cover of an ebook, open it up 
and jump to the last page. Again, you can then share the screen with this view uh, with your learners. Ask learners to read the text and then confirm whether their ideas about the topic were uh, correct. Then, then they can repeat the process on their own for the other covers in the selection and get together in breakout rooms to share ideas and to make the final selections. Okay, here's a summary. To get started with extensive reading online, remember, engage your learners from the very beginning. First of all, find out their current reading habits and show them how they already read a lot in their own language. Then try to generate interest in uh, the eBooks by getting them uh, interested in the topic before they actually start reading. And finally, involve your learners in choosing the eBooks allowing them to have some control over their reading experience. Okay, that's all on the topic. The ideas in this video are also available in a free downloadable guide to using ebook graded readers.